Hello and welcome to another episode on JD Booze Reviews. Today we have a low slash no alcohol showcase from Northern Monk Brewery. Another Northern Monk beer and thought it'd be good to put these two beers together uh, just because they're in the no slash low alcohol bracket which is not something that Northern Monk are traditionally known for but they started to make their way into this area and let's check them out. So the first beer we have today is Turbo Rave Love, uh, which is a Love Heart Sour Ale, which is part of the Northern Monks Patrons Project, which is also what the other beer we're going to be looking at is part of. And this category of Patrons Projects, so if you don't know what the Patrons Projects are, each one has um, is organised by a number followed by another number, so something dot something. In this case, this is 28.04. Now what that relates to is the series is the 28th series, which is all based around uh, the particular artist that is doing the can design. In this case, he is called Lemai Lemau. Probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but uh, this one is based around love hearts. So, first thing you'll notice in the pouring video that I thought I'd try today, um, you can see instantly the colour takes by <laughs> surprise. And it's the first thing you notice, the bright red, black, berry, cordial <laughs> type colour. Probably more lighter than blackberry, probably more like cherry juice. Um, or, yeah, a cherry sour, which this is hitting on the nose. So, initial smell is very much of cherry uh, with a little bit of sweetness, which will be the strawberry flavours that it's supposedly supposed to have, plus some citrusy notes that are coming through it, which will be the orange. So this is a 2.4% beer, which I'm not sure if I've mentioned yet, and it's in collaboration with Mash Gang, who have expertise in this area. So. Let's see how it tastes. So yeah, very much cherry. Um, I'm drinking cherry, cherry pop um, with the carbonation that you get from the beer with the uh, sweetness of the strawberry and a mellow note of, of the orange like I could smell. It is it is quite thin, well the beer is quite thin, but low alcohol, that's kind of par for the course. A couple of breweries add lactose into a beer to give it more mouthfeel, which I don't think is in this. So that will explain the, the sort of the thin level I'm getting throughout. But overall, this is a pretty good beer. Really nice, easy drinking at 2.4%, as I've mentioned. So. You could easily have quite a few um, and not feel the side effects afterwards. Great for a summer's day, great for any time of day. Um, even even now, in the middle of the afternoon, it's perfect. And like I say, with the percentage, you're not going to regret it. <laughs> so this is a win. So the first beer on this little showcase definitely gets a, a thumbs up from me. So next one it might be a little bit more controversial. It is a 0% beer. Um, so let's give that one a try. I'm going to finish this first though. The next beer we're about to review is also part of the Patents Project, as I mentioned, and it is beer 2206. 22 is the series of Independent North celebrating companies that operate from the north of England. This is a alcohol-free IPA, as I mentioned, and it's to celebrate Bradford's 2025 UK City of Culture Bit. Right, let's get pouring. So you're only getting a fancy pour shot for one of the beers because uh, I want to see how it work, how it comes out, and how it, how it is received. So this 0.0% alcohol-free beer is supposed to represent a mango and cardamom coffee, which is a Indian frozen dessert and 
I have opened the can and I instantly smell vanilla. <laughs> it's quite away from my face as you can as you can see. Um, but vanilla was pouring out of this can. So again the colours surprised me. I was expecting a more traditional IPA colour. We don't get a massive amount of carbonation, we still have quite a uh, a flat <laughs> top of the beer, but I mean on the on the line of these beers having a uh, a fruit juice sort of vibe. This is orange juice. This is orange aid, <laughs> but the smell is very much vanilla vanilla ice cream. But once I get closer, I get a grassy sort of a grassy sort of. Um, no, which will be probably the cardamom slash uh, a bit of the hops. Very grassy. It's literally like I'm smelling a piece of turf. The vanilla flavor, the vanilla flavor I can smell when I open the can is completely gone um, at the moment. So let's give it a try. So we get a hoppiness, a hop sort of um, level of bitterness with the vanilla is not as overpowering as it was when I opened the can. It's very subtle and this grassy cardamomy sort of spiciness um, is the front and centre really. It mentions mango, I haven't got too much mango. get a slight fruitiness but not I wouldn't, I wouldn't definitely say I def, definitely pick up mango initially but that cardamomy um, bitterness and that hoppy bitterness is very much the the thing that's front and center currently and really throughout the whole tasting experience it's very um, sharp work out if it's nice or not but <laughs> yeah I think the cardamom flavour is a little bit too too much for me it's very much hitting you in the face punching you in the face but as 0.0% alcohol free beers go this ain't bad this is not bad. I think the problem that some breweries make when they do alcohol free beers is they try and imitate previous beers that they've done and try and make it alcohol free. So you've always got a line that you're trying to compare to. You're always trying to say is it as good as the alcohol version which it's never going to be but this being a fresh take, a fresh idea on alcohol free beer, this isn't bad. If they type toned down the cardamomy sharpness which is what I think it is this would be spot on but it's just a little flat for me at the moment a little it's I must say flat it's a little too too much and the grassy aroma is very confusing to me as well I think it is the cardamom because it's very much like florally and, and um, florally and grassy, which would explain. I haven't really had much dealings with cardamom, but that's pretty much what I, ex what I, uh, what I expect it to be like. So I think this is um, possibly a miss on flavour, but as an alcohol free beer and an interesting and new take on alcohol free beer it's definitely a thumbs up but out of the two beers that we tried today the 
Love Hearts Sarah will definitely be the victor. Just as an additional point, one thing I love uh, about the Patrons Project is the fact that all of the cans are reversible. So inside gives you a bit about the uh, collaborations, a bit about the series in question, and then some more information about the beer itself, including the ingredients and then the uh, OG and IBU and all that stuff, especially uh, including a bit of the description about the beer itself. So this was uh, Valentine's Day around that time it was out, so I'm a little bit late on the uh, on the get-go on this one, but yeah, it's, I found that pretty cool because it's, you know, really interesting information. And you can scan that if you are interested in more. So overall, that is going to do it for today. Two very different beers, two very different ideas. And I hope you like this video. I will see you next time. If you'd like to, want to see more of my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video, which one sounded more appealing to you. And I will see you next time.